So hey there fellow YouTubers, Frank Bush here again. So in today's video, the good people over at Bateria Power have decided to send me a 10 ampere hour MPPT solar charge controller. So in this video, I'm just going to configure it so that it can work with my gear and do a little uh, testing to see how it works. So if you're interested in that kind of content, stay tuned. All right then, well, first order business, let's just take a peek at the box and get into the unopening and all that business. So as you can see, it's a Bateria Power. It's an MPPT solar charge controller and kind of just show you the different you know, sides of the box and that kind of stuff. Now this is a Sunrock 10 Pro. So it's not the most powerful MPPT solar charge controller, but you know, it'll do the job for the purposes that I need it to. And here's some of the detailed specs on the back. Of, so it's got a 30 volt open. So it'll work with, you know, a single solar panel or if you connected, you know, say two in parallel. But if you hook them up in series, you might have issues with it. But uh, one of the key things is it works with battery types of the lithium iron phosphates, which are the batteries that I tend to use. They're my preferred battery. I, I really try to stay to using those for longevity and cycle life and just the amount of power versus weight and all that kind of stuff. I find lithium iron phosphates to be the best batteries. But uh, yeah, it's really lightweight. This thing only weighs about a quarter pound or so to give you an idea. They claim 100% efficiency on the MPPT charging. Now, normally when it comes to MPPT solar charge controllers, you know, you get 98, 97, well, 95, you know, in around that range. So for them to claim 100% seems a bit of a claim, but you know, it is what it is, right? So either way, like I say, let's just open this box and uh, see kind of what we got going on in here. So I can see... You got the SAE connectors. This is a little uh, connector changer. So if you hook up the wrong polarity and stuff, you don't have to rewire everything, but they give a couple little connectors for use. And then let's see here, we got a user manual. I'll give that a little quick peek through and just see what's this now. Oh yeah, so they've got an app online where you can I guess Bluetooth connects to the MPPT charge controller. Now on the one side, it's for um, Apple, and for the other side, it's for Android. So one way or the other, won't bother you going through all the specs of that. Let's get into the little goodies though, shall we? So the one thing I like about this MPPT solar charge controller is for one, it's fairly small, so it's good for use out in the field. But for two, it's really lightweight. And then they also have it where it's in line. So I don't have to worry about complex wiring setups and that kind of stuff, which I like. Now, this keeps it really simple for if you're kind of new into this kind of realm of things. A little plastic cover for the protective plastic and all that happiness. And I'll just show you a real close up of that now. So as you can see, it's battery uh, power. It's got 25, 50, 75, 100%, you know, state of charge, if you will. And then it shows you which different battery type you're set on. And then, you know, single button to go and set stuff. So these things normally aren't complex units. Then potentially I'll show you a different type of unit that I, you know, conventionally have worked with. But the thing I really like about this is it's just inline where I can quickly hook this up to a solar panel when I'm out in the field and then connect it to a battery without having to get into complex wiring and all that kind of stuff. So either way, I can see with what they've sent, I didn't have MC4 connectors so i'm just going to go and grab some connectors and uh, get this set up where we can actually turn around and hook this directly into the solar panels and connect it straight to the battery so i've got some additional wiring that didn't come with this kit that i should be able to use with this and i'll have to kind of hook that up and i'll do that in this video but i've got to kind of hook that stuff up but as you can see there's not a lot to them these units as far as i know it to be you know at the time of recording of this um video these units are about 50 50 bucks so you know for an mppt charge controller at that cost point you know they're they're fairly cheap in that regard if i've seen ones that are far more expensive that offer the same kind of limit you know but uh like i say let's just start to wire this up and get it ready for use out in the field yeah okay so like I say, I went off and grabbed a couple of additional components. I just wanted to have some gator clips and stuff so it makes it really easy to hook onto the battery in that. And I've got some MC4 components that I'll actually hook up 
onto some of this wiring that exists here just so I can plug the solar panels directly into this without having, you know, any additional kind of stuff. Now, I'm not 100%, but as far as I know it to be, um, the company Bateria actually sells this kind of stuff as additional components you can get. But like I say, they just sent me the MPPT charge controller, so here we are. But now, it's really simple with the way this works. We've got this hooks up on this side. It's got a little picture of a sun. That hooks up to the solar panels, and then it's got a little picture of battery on this side. That's the side that's going to turn around and connect off to your battery. So I'm going to take this SAE connector that I have, and like I say, I don't normally, well, I don't normally use these types of connectors. Sorry, I'll try to keep this all in camera as much as possible without making a fuddled mess of everything. But on the uh, on the battery side now, I'm just going to simply take my SAE connector and link them together as such. Just make sure they're really solid connection. And it's just as simple as that. I now have it where I've got just gator clips that I can hook on to the battery. Now, when it, like I say, when it comes to the other side, I'm going to turn around and hook on these MC4 connectors onto some of the wiring they supplied just so that we can directly hook into the battery. So I'll shift camera angles and kind of reposition myself so that we can just get these MC4 connectors on. And then we should be able to start to hook this on some solar panels and start get it going, yeah? So in fact, before we even start to get into hooking on these MC4 connectors, I'll just stop and show you at this point in time. Like I said, I put on those gator clips, yeah? And I'm just going to hook those up to, I brought in the battery here just for the example, but I'm going to hook the, you know, the red to the red, the black to the black, and it starts to light up this solar charge controller. I'll shift camera angles and I'll come right in close on this so you guys can see a detailed on this, yeah? So as you can see, of I'm seeing 13.2, oh, I'm seeing 13.3, 13.2 volts on the battery, and it shows zero amps going in because we haven't hooked up the panels to it or whatever. But either way, it shows that this battery is already fully charged. But right now, I'm set on the gel setting, and I want to be over on that LifePo 4, that's the lithium iron phosphate settings. So it's pretty intuitive. I just hold down the button for a second. I can see it starts to blink the gel. I just tap it again, tap it again. I'm on the LifePo now. So I'm just gonna hold that down for a second. Now that locks it in. And now this MPVT solar charge controller is configured to work with the lithium iron phosphate batteries. So it's really, you know, a no brainer in that regard, yeah? So, and like I say, fairly elementary units. I'll show you this side, see if I can get that into the light. It shows the voltages of uh, the boost charge voltage and the floating charge voltage and that kind of stuff when it comes to, you know, the different types of batteries. And it even says here with the PV voltage, the 30 volts open is, you know, the max, if you will. And then the maximum PV working voltage is um, 20 volts. And then the battery types, it goes through the gel, AGM, and lithium iron phosphates. And uh, this is for a 12 volt battery system. So, you know, like I say, really elementary components. There's not a whole lot to them. But uh, let's now shift. I'll just pop this back off again and we'll hook it on again later on. But I'll just pop this back off. Let's shift, get those MC4 connectors hooked up so we can just connect solar panels straight to this. Yeah. All right, fellow YouTubers. So I've brought this out in the backyard now. And I've got a folding solar panel that produces, it's a 100 watt panel. So I've just used that as the example in this. And I brought my battery outside so you can see. And when it comes to most solar panels, vast majority of them really, you get these MC4 connectors, which is what we just wired up when it comes to the MPPT charge controller. And I'm simply going to plug the male into the female. And again, the male into the female. And I'm going to hook this up to the battery. And I'll come in close on this so we can see the details. And it takes a second for it to light up. All right. So, and like I say, coming close now. And I just disconnected the MC4 stuff because I was seeing an E13 code. And from the manual, it says that that's just the reverse polarity coming off the solar panel. So I just hooked on that little 
gender bender thing we were talking about earlier for the SAE connection. I just put that on so I could switch my polarity, if you will. And now I'm just going to plug that into my solar panels. And we should see it starting to take a charge now. Let's see if I can flip it that way. And yeah, let me bring you in a little closer here. So hopefully you're able to pick this up on the camera. I can see this battery is almost full, but I'm taking it at 13.6 volts. I'm taking 0.8 of an amp. So I know I'm throwing charge into the battery. And it's just that simple. With devices like this, you know, this unit can go up to multiple amps, but I know the battery is almost full, fully, you know, loaded up, if you will. So the battery itself is at like 99.5% full, if you will. I charged it earlier this week. But uh, either way, you can see, simple little unit allows me to hook my solar panels up to my battery. And because this thing is so compact, I'm able to just toss this in with my folding solar panel and have it that I can now hook on any gel, AGM, or lithium iron phosphate battery and just gator clip onto it. And what I'll do is I'll shift camera angles and I'll just throw this little unit directly in with my folding solar panel. So it's just with, with that unit everywhere I go. And it gives me the ability, like I say, to hook on to any one of those types of batteries and just start throwing charge into the device. So, and as you can see on the back of my folding solar panel unit, I've got this little case now where the MC4 connectors and that stuff are for the solar panel. And I just throw that unit right in with it. And now I can have it where I just have my MPPT solar charge controller with me. When I go off into the field, I just take it and go, right? And it's one of those things of now there's uh, other components I want to show in future videos that I can hook onto the solar panels that would be added into this as well. And the thinking really is to give me versatility. I want to have this kind of solar panel set up where, yes, I can turn around and directly hook it onto a battery using the MPPT charge controller and that kind of stuff. But I also want to have it where I can plug things directly into it and just use it directly without any of that stuff. But like I say, that's all for future videos, yeah? But either way, I'll just pull that back out of the kit. To Kind of keep the display going and uh but yeah there you have it this is the battery power mpbt solar charge controller so i'll do some finishing scenes and give you my thoughts and i'll wrap this video up yeah so like i say there wasn't much to this kind of build out or review or anything that was my bad when it came to hooking up the uh mc4s well, obviously, I should have gone back and looked at how I've got my other wiring stuff configured, but it was easy fix. Like I say, having it where you can switch that out and uh, toggle it with this little SAE kind of wire connection converter thing. I don't know exactly what you call those things. Made it really easy to kind of just switch that around, you know, but uh, realistically, I should have had the female connector sitting on the positive and the male connector sitting on the negative for my wiring configurations but you know that was my bad 100 percent but either way i like having these little simple units you know this is only rated for uh 10 amps so when it comes to hooking up solar panels and stuff you know anything above about 150 watts is really you don't want to go above that so you know this is kind of a smaller scale thing when it comes to the folding solar panel i have it's a great fit to you know just kind of work with the gear that I already have in that regard and I like that I could just quickly hook on my gator clips with some pre-existing gear I you know I owned already and then where I can just hook on any battery now and just quickly connect up my folding solar panel to you know 12 volt standard kind of batteries if you will so you know all in all I like this little unit I like how it's in line I like how the wiring was really simple and easy to do you know I know I did my own mc4 stuff but I think like I say I'm pretty sure that uh battery uh um, cells, you know, battery of power cells, kits that are all compatible with their stuff and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we'll try this out in the field more as time goes on. I know I didn't see a high level of amps when I had it hooked up to the panel, but I put that more on the fact of, I know that that battery was right, you know, pretty well fully charged to begin with, but I'm pleased with what I see here. This all looks kind of, you know, waterproof and sealed and all that kind of stuff. Um, we'll give it some testing when we get out into the field. 
and we'll see you know of is it going to hold up to some sprinkles and that kind of stuff you know it says it's uh water resistant i do believe in the manual so you can go back through things but uh there's a bunch of you know charge protection and other stuff that they cover when it comes to you know all their different bits but i'm just giving the battery a, or sorry the manual a quick review to see yeah it's probably online where it talks about oh no it talks about a battery over voltage device overheating you know it's got protections built into it all the standards kind of solar charge controller protections you know overcharging over discharge and all that kind of stuff right uh solar reverse polarity which was the error i got earlier the e13 that i had mentioned you know battery reverse polarity has a e14 you know there's different error alerts and i can show that just in case somebody didn't have uh uh manual that came with it those are the main error codes that you're going to see written on the device and as far as i know it to be um i can hook this up to bluetooth and that kind of stuff so i could check on my cell phone but generally speaking when i'm out in the field i'm going to be a stone's throw away from this thing so if i want to see what the production is i'll just you know take the 20 steps over and check it out um so i'm not going to bother going and installing the um app and all that kind of stuff but uh, i'm sure it's just going to show me the same kind of information that i'm seeing here i just don't have to walk over to the charge controller to see it every time but other than that i'm you know i'm pr i'm pretty pleased with what i'm seeing now uh, this will be a great little addition to have um for flexibility with that folding solar panel when i'm out in the field but if you enjoy this type of content please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching yeah cheers